What's going on everybody? Welcome to part three of the Python Reddit API wrapper or pro tutorial series. In this video, what we're gonna be talking about is streaming from Reddit. So at, up to this point, we've basically just done everything kind of historically as if you were viewing Reddit. But as you may know, um, sometimes when you post stuff on Reddit, you'll get like an immediate reply back from a bot or um, or even like some of the, like the auto mods and stuff like that. Um, but also you might want to, maybe you're wanting to uh, keep a database up to date or maybe you're trying to um, set up like an alert for something. Uh, who knows? There's all kinds of reasons why you might actually want to stream Reddit rather than looking back historically. Also streaming uh, for a lot of applications is going to be less like API call intensive than it would be to, you know, keep making API calls constantly. So... Um, so let's go ahead and cover how to actually stream. It's actually super simple. You just add a dot stream in front of everything. So for example, what we could say is uh, for comment. So in this case, we're going to still continue with subreddit, but we're just starting some new new text. So for comment in subreddit dot stream dot comments. Now you can also do dot stream on other things. Uh, if I forget to mention it, you could do it on a specific even submission if you wanted. Um, anyway, for comment in subreddit.stream.comments, what do we want to do? Um, let's go ahead and um, we can say print. Actually, let's do, I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. So let's say we want to grab a parent ID and that'll be um, the string version of comment.parent. And then what we want to do is for comment in subreddit.stream.comment. So what we're going to say now is we're going to say, like basically what I want to do is grab, let's say like we want to grab all the replies to comments. So we need a parent ID and there might not be one because I, th I actually think top level comments don't have a parent ID that is the thread. Um, so I might've been incorrect in my statements before, but anyways, let's do it. Let's just encase this in a try. <laughs> except exception and we're gonna pass people are gonna be so mad now um, so that's the parent ID now let's say let's say like the I don't know submission I hate to use the word submission because that's like a thread um, original equals um, reddit dot comment so this will let us search for a specific comment by ID so we can search for it by the parent ID so um, Cool. So we got the original comment, and then what we're going to say is, so we can just print it out. So let's just do print parent, print original. Um, and actually original, again, would be a, uh, a pro object, so we need to do dot body on that. Um, and then print uh, reply, and reply would be comment.body. And we could even we could be a little better actually. Um, rather than accept exception as e, let's do pra dot exceptions dot pra exception as e. We're, we're we're a little better, but not much. So uh, so now we can go ahead and stream um, these comments. I think that's probably good enough. We might have to change the Python subreddit, but we'll see. So some of these probably had no parents, is my guess. Did we print parent before? Hmm. It's weird that we would get to parent and it would be totally empty because you wouldn't have gotten an ID, I wouldn't think. Or are they really empty? No, it's just gen it takes time to generate me. No, those are empty. It's kind of odd. I'm not quite positive why a parent would be empty like that. Anyway. Um, we're getting parent here. Shouldn't be hard for you to provide 40 character string, blah, 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 blah. And then you've got your reply. I doubt you'd be able to crack it even with an EC2 instance. <laughs> okay. Um, how big of an EC2 instance, bro? Anyway, welcome to Reddit. So, um, okay. So that's how you could stream in um, comments. Now, one thing I'll, I'll bring up that I didn't realize out of the gate was, um, or... To a couple things. First of all, don't forget that um, 
every time basically you've got this a function call, um, that's another you know strike against your 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 total query limit basically your API call limit, which is a, an extremely unfortunate thirty API calls per minute. Boo! That sucks. Now initially you might think it's actually much larger than thirty, especially if you like use it a little bit, stop, and then use it a little bit again. Um, it's almost like, like, I don't know, maybe they average it over the course of an hour or something like that. Um, but initially you'll get a huge spike and then it slowly will level out to an average, I almost knocked over my coffee, an average of like 30 requests a minute. Um, so, and I forget where that is. That's somewhere in the docs. Apparently I had to Google it to find that limit, but there is that limit, um, which honestly is pretty low, especially when you don't provide the parent ID. <laughs> I can understand why you wouldn't want to uh, um, supply the parent content or something like that. But seriously, if it has a parent ID, give it to me. Um, so that's kind of a, that's kind of a bummer. Like all requests are equal. Um, so eh, eh, eh. not happy about that. But anyways, so this here is an API call. This here is an API call because you're 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 extracting. You know, you've got to go find out that parent ID. This should not be an API call, but it is. Anyways, that's an API call. And then the stream, I don't know how frequently it sends you new data, but it's some, somewhat frequently. But what we can do just to kind of show you this though, I'm gonna go ahead and just comment um, this out. That's, I swear I hit all three, but apparently I didn't. And even this, and in fact, I'm just gonna delete all this. So like comment.body, oops, we wanna print comment.body. Print comment.body. It's not a function call. <laughs> Try again, bro. Okay, so this is just a stream comment. So anyway, if, if I let it go just as fast as it wants, um, okay, it's actually kind of stopped. Um, that's probably because um, the Python subreddit's kind of a slow moving subreddit. So let's change this to something faster. News. Let's try again. This I, I expect, up. Oh, no, what? This is news to me. <laughs> oh man, I'm super tempted to just pass entirely. Well, let's go to politics. <laughs> That's the kind of error I don't want to debug right now. Sorry guys. Let's try again. Maybe because I moved. What? No. Dude, this is news to me. I've streamed this without any problems. What the hell is going on? I'm going to. Gonna do the the worst thing you could do, man. Let's see if that still does it. Like, if this is like an idle issue, no. I don't know. Anyway, if someone has a, a solution to that <laughs> that error, let me know. That was disgusting. Anyway, okay. In case it in a full exception, just to let this tutorial continue on its roll. Um, anyway, this is streaming contents from now politics. Um, if I went back to news, I'm pretty sure news is a much larger subreddit than politics. Let me check real quick. Whew. So 22,000 people in news right now. Politics has, drum roll please, wow, 33,000. It's actually bigger than news. It's interesting. Anyway, um, okay, so that's streaming all of the contents as they come in. It tends to stream in like a, a cluster. So it looks like maybe it's just like one update every few seconds, but if you're paying full attention, it's actually a cluster of like a bunch. Like, I don't even know how many this is, but like, let's see. Okay, this ends with like these. Um, wow, thanks for helping me prove my point, guys. Um, hey, okay, that one bulked up pretty high. Okay, it's actually not too many. Um, when I've streamed this in the past, like it seemed like it was coming in as like 20 at a time. And now it's kind of early in the morning, so maybe this is not like the, the time for Reddit. Um, come back around like 6 p.m. Eastern or something, and Reddit might even be down. So <laughs> anyway, um, closing out. Um, so not only can you do um, like a stream of comments, you can also stream uh, an actual s just the submission. So for example, we could say subreddit. Um, dot stream and then we can do submissions this one might be a little slower um, but let's see. oops not gonna be comment well I guess it would be no we'd have to do title so 
So we're just hitting a bunch of exceptions. <laughs> and we're passing them silently because we are good programmers, right? Uh, for submission in subreddit dot train submissions print submission dot title let's at least sort of fix our problem there save and run surely whoa okay so when you go to do this stream it'll like kind of populate back for you a little bit um, and then it goes now I'm hoping to see an update here Surely somebody's gonna submit something to politics. You guys could do it. I guess not. Anyway, um, just know it's a possibility. So um, I think that's it for the um, subreddit, uh, or rather the Reddit API wrapper. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns on it, feel free to let me know. Um, otherwise, what I plan to do with this is I wanted to make a chatbot. Now, I was going to stream everything uh, from Reddit to a database, um, but Reddit did not appear to be a fan of what I was doing, so <laughs> so I have to come up with another means. Now, I did find, now just in case, um, just for the sake of clarity, uh, the, the Pro tutorial is over, but if you are interested in pulling a ton of data from Reddit and you don't want to make Reddit mad, you can say, um, let's say it's 1.7 billion Reddit comments, something like that. If you just Google that. So here we go. So <clears throat> there's this um, post that was made two years ago. Um, this guy pulled, I don't know how he did it without making Reddit angry, <laughs> but somehow. So it's every publicly available Reddit comment for research, although I don't know who this this person is stuck in the matrix. Maybe, I don't know. This might be someone very, someone affiliated with, with uh, look at that karma. Someone affiliated with Reddit? I don't know. Someone someone can, feel free to educate me. Uh, anyway, um, somehow they have all the, 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 the Reddit comments. So anyways, at this point it was up to 2015. So it's a 1.7 billion comments, um, everything. Now, if you scroll on down, um, somewhere in here, someone also posts that they have it all on BigQuery. So Google's BigQuery, you can click on this comment here. Boom. Someone is telling us, hey, they loaded everything onto BigQuery. Now, if we go to BigQuery, uh, wait for it. Oh, I was going to check to see if we got any updates. Whatever. You can see starting at 2005, we've got a table, but it actually goes all the way to 2017, um, June 2017. So I feel like I'm under the impression that this is going to keep updating. Maybe it'll be like two, two months lagged. I'm not really sure. But anyway, um, so it's even more data. And Reddit has only grown. Like Reddit is one of the top 10 websites. I mean, it, sometimes it comes in and out of the top 10, but I mean, it it's a huge website. So it's, as it's growing, I mean, like probably 27, 2016, maybe 2015, probably has just as much data as 2005 to at least 2010 probably does. Anyways, um, all the data is here on BigQuery. You can also, uh, what I was showing you initially was you can download the torrent of 2005 to 2015. Actually, I believe it's not even, it's not 2005. I think it goes back to uh, 2007. I might be wrong. Somewhere. Now, this was loaded onto BigQuery, if I go back one more time. Um, yeah, it's here. Um, and he says that it is, obviously, it's 1.7 billion comments. Um, and it's like one terabyte or two terabytes? Somewhere in here, I swear he says it's only one terabyte. But then he says here he wanted to get a digital ocean box with two terabytes of bandwidth. Oh, I guess so people could download it. Yeah, because it's like 150 gigabytes. Somewhere here it has the extracted size. I think it's a terabyte. Anyway, but yeah, you can torrent that, grab that, um, <laughs> and just have a ball. Or grab just a month of that data if you wanted. Anyways, just throwing that out there for anybody who's interested um, so you don't run into the same problems as I run into. Um, so I think that's it. Questions, comments, leave them below. Otherwise, until the next tutorial.